was my greatest victory. Listen to my pleas. Can you even think I could accept so foul an offer? Don't lie to yourself. You already have. of that day faded, almost into nothing. Years of great victories followed. The destructive fury of our swords was truly awesome. Nothing seemed capable of stopping us. One warm spring saw the birth of Luna, my daughter. The overwhelming joy that invaded my heart, however, was chilled by a terrible discovery. On Luna's chest, there was a mark, like a scar. The demon had kept its promise, and now I had to keep mine.
Please, can you help me? I'm trying to find the king. I have an important message for him. your dead queen. I couldn't believe my very eyes. Could it be Lorna, your lost daughter? Look, I have kept her in a cell, apart, so no one else may see her. You must see her, your majesty. I knew you peasants from the lands to the east could handle a hoe, but not a sword. <laughs> <laughs> if you insist, I'll show you where we yokels from the east stick our hoes. Leave him alone, King. You'll have a chance to show this puppet a lesson at the tournament. Better listen to your little girlfriend, yokel. Besides, it'll be more fun watching you eat the mud in front of an arena full of people. So, on his deathbed, the man who I believed to be my father for all of those years told me a story. He said when I was a little baby, he saved me from drowning in the Khmer River. He said moments before he saw some type of mysterious hooded figure throw me in. This is the only thing I have from my past. This little stone. Since then, I have traveled around the world looking for this stone. I knew if I found it, I'd also find my real parents. I just wanted to ask them why they did this to me. May I burn in hell if ever we were guilty of such infamy. The truth is, someone kidnapped you a few days after you were born. Everything we did to find you came to nothing. I thought I'd lost you forever, but fate has decided that we meet again. Welcome home, Luna. Kimok will now shine even more brightly than ever before. What you need now is rest. Your arrival comes the day before a great tournament that I've announced to celebrate 
Ten years of peace in our kingdom. It's the perfect way of blessing the festivities. Tomorrow, we shall speak. For now, rest. Guard, take her to the royal apartments. Make sure that no one enters without my consent. It's amazing how closely you resemble each other. The same light in your eyes, the same rays of sunshine in your hair. Looking at you means having her back with me, my daughter. You both look so happy in this picture. Yes, we were. Your birth brought great joy to our hearts. You should have seen us. We were like newlyweds. She had only been born just a few days, yet already she had begun to plan every moment of your future. How... how did my mother die? A part of her died the day when you were kidnapped. And then there was that night. But you have plenty of time to learn the history of your family, my daughter. Today is the eve of a great festival here in Kimok, and your return will make it an even more memorable event. I want everything to be perfect. In the meantime, I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Yes, I've had our best tailors make a special costume so that everyone can see the beauty of King Wolfkarn's daughter. History has been forced to rewrite its pages. The crowns of the most powerful rulers have had to bow down before our implacable force. Thanks to our great warriors, Kimok now stands unopposed for splendor and glory by any other kingdom. That is why 
it is our duty now to celebrate their courage. But there is another reason to be happy. Proof that the past gives back more than just thoughts of war and blood. The past can even give us hope of a better future. This is Luna, my daughter found again. And now, let the tournament begin! Your Majesty. Morrigan, bringer of doom. You're missing a great show. I asked to talk to Your Majesty on a matter of the utmost urgency. Go and speak. What have you got to say that's so important? I prefer to talk to Your Highness in private. Measure your words carefully. Remember you're in the presence of the Princess of Kimok. From her, there should be no secrets. I would not dream of offending our princess so happily amongst us yet again. It is simply a matter concerning our lives. It would only bore the princess and distract her from the show. So be it. Out of my way. These issues have better be really important. So say what it is you have to say to me. She is not your daughter. What is this nonsense you're spouting? Luna is not the person she says she is. How what? dare you! I'll tear out that serpent's tongue of yours. She does not bear the scar on her body she was born with, you see? It cannot be. What do these inscriptions mean? They speak of an ancient prophecy that will befall the kingdom of Kimok. Why does just looking at it terrify you so much? Once I met that demon, I tried to convince myself that it had been a nightmare. I made a pact with it. Kimok would prevail over all the kingdoms. And soon... And in exchange, the demon asked for the lives of your children. So that's why Luna was snatched away all those years ago. Now I finally understand what happened even after then. Yes. It was the price I had to pay. But how did you...
Tell me what the prophecy says. The prophecy says that a human sacrifice must take place. That the noble blood spilt will awake Guamont, a huge titan who will take his armies and conquer the earth. Chaos will begin. Only the children of the Pact can kill the monster, but it must happen before the human sacrifice begins. It's time someone knew the truth. I always knew that sooner or later it would come to this, but I never thought it would happen in this way. When is this ritual to take place? I do not know, my king. The book says nothing about when this will happen. It has already begun. Trust me. 
Beware, witch. I have already made too many mistakes in my life. Today is coming to a close. And with it, the first part of the Keylock Tournament. Let the evening's feasting begin. At least I fight for a good reason. And tomorrow, I show you how to use this. <laughs> I like you, brother. But tonight, the tavern waits for us. Anihil. What? Listen to an old story. Two lovers, Lila and Mahnan, asked a priest, Nihil, to marry them in secret. But Nihil fell in love with Lila and corrupted Mahnan to convince Lila to kill herself to prove her love. Lila kills herself, but Mahnan runs mad with pain, and Nihil feeds on it, becoming a demon. And so they call Nihil those demons who live on the suffering of man. And how do you fight them? Only a demon can fight another demon. Lila chose the way of hell to come back and defeat Nihil. <laughs> but it's just another children's story. Nothing else. Are you still thinking about that story for children? Things can change. The whole world's changing. And I'm beginning to fear that every night could be our last. Things end. Only when we want them to. But Kane...
looking for has never been written. You know that, don't you? I never understood how you thought you'd find the answers to all of your problems in ancient history. Who are you? Who am I? It's a great question. You should know. Aren't you supposed to know everything? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe the more important question is, what do I know about you? Well, <laughs> maybe I know that you're prepared to tell the king everything about me. Maybe. Hmm. I know after my poor mother passed away, you tried to make decisions that were supposedly in the best interest of the kingdom. Yeah. Or maybe I know about your most deep and darkest secret. Every single servant that passes through here has to get specially approved by you. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you want. I know exactly what you fantasize about. Could you imagine a night of pure pleasure with the king's daughter, no less? I mean, I know you've been with almost every servant here, but. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you saw a body like this? What do you want from me? Are you going to kill me? No. But I'm afraid he is. <laughs> Clean all this up. Let not a trace remain. And not a word of it to anyone. The tournament must go on as though nothing has happened. After all, no one is going to miss her. Except me, old friend. I will. The next, the next fighters, fighters 
are the great Stipidus from Punio and the Brave Hadron from Parkour. Kane, what are you doing here? You answer that question. That's my business. Shouldn't you be back at the tournament with your little friend? I've got a sword to find. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. No! You don't know what you've done! Don't you understand? That was the only way to... The sword is mine. Who gave you the viewer? You don't understand that weapon's power! It's none of your business, peasant. Get back. Kane, you're a very strong man with your sword. But fight me like a real man. No weapons. Do it together, man. <laughs> 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 
Told you, hero. You should have stayed down. Still playing, you two? Finally. Beyond time, beyond space, the truth, that which you are, but you do not know. Twins. Two twins have cost the Queen her life. Take them away, in opposite directions. Brothers, that's what you are. Blood unites you. A pact separates you. Only the hand of the sons of the pact can halt that which must not be seen. The sword will guide your journey. The sword of the pact will seal that which must not be seen in the darkness of oblivion.
Father. Luna, excuse me. I only, I just wanted to make sure that your rooms here were worthy of a princess. Oh yes, it's wonderful. It's just like a dream. I just want to be prepared for the, uh, the rest of the tournament. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yes, uh, of course. So, you are the children of King Wolfcon. But how? They kept it hidden from us for a reason. But what do I know? All I know is, it was all a lie. But how did you get here? The night that we, uh... While you were sleeping, I had a visit from Morrigan, the witch of my... our... father. She told me of a sword, and how it would remind me of a past that belongs to me, and how I was connected to it. She also gave me a crystal viewer, for which I could overcome the sword's power. And she showed me how I could claim it. <laughs> King. King himself told me about this sword, and it's the only weapon I could use to win the tournament. And whoever won the tournament also takes his kingdom. He sent you here separately. For a better chance, the sword would be captured. But what can that sword do? Find a father. Conquer a kingdom. Prevent a monster from conquering the world. You have found the sword. You must search for the two waterfalls. Follow the sun at sunset and the darkest part of your soul. 
the doors to hell will close. Only if a soul asks to go beyond. What are you doing? Put the sword down. To prove my love for you, I have followed you to the gates of hell. You must complete our mission. If not, I will return and I will show you no mercy. No! Time to go, brother. There's no turning back from here.
Tina! You're alive! My beloved, this is how it must be. I have but a few hours left in the land of men. I will go and stop far. Only a demon can fight another demon. Blood calls, and destiny will be fulfilled. 